Good morning, grade nine. How are you today? Today we are going to talk about activity two, which is digestion of starch. Here we will use the backward design method so that we will use the experiment and finally we can make the final conclusion that will be uh, written uh, on your copybooks. During digestion, starch undergoes a series of molecular simplification or chemical transformation mediated or done by digestive enzymes. What does this transformation involve and what is the result? We will see in this experiment. We will start with the in vitro digestion of starch. As you see in this experiment, we have three test tubes, A, B, and C. In the first test tube, we have water and bread. In the second test tube, we add water, bread, and saliva. And in the third test tube, we have water, bread, intestinal juices, and pancreatic juices. The three test tubes are placed in a water bath at 37 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes. And finally, we can make a test sample with iodine solution to check where if uh, starch digestion occurs or not. The results are taken in this table. So at the beginning of the experiment, iodine test shows a positive result in tubes A, B, and C indicating the presence of starch, means that digestion did not take place yet. After 30 minutes, only test tube A containing uh, water and bread shows a positive result indicating the absence of digestion. However, if you use the Fahling test, which is uh, specific for the reducing sugars, starting at time zero minute, the test is negative, indicating the absence of reducing sugar. After 30 minutes, tube A still shows a negative result, indicating the absence of transformation from a starch into reducing sugars, while in tubes B and C, it shows a positive result and it means that starch was digested or transformed into a reducing sugars under the action of saliva or salivary amylase present in saliva and in the pancreatic juices and intestinal juices. Let's see the molecular simplification of starch in details. After a few minutes, sample of water is collected from beakers A and B, and iodine and Fahling solution tests are applied, and the result is shown in document 4. If we start with this experiment, we use a, uh, two bags, and we have two permeable bags in a beaker uh, containing dist distilled water. In the first setup, we use starch solution only. And in the second setup, we added starch plus saliva solution in this permeable bag. Notice that the permeable bag is uh, having some pores, so it allows the passage of molecules from this bag into the distilled water. In document four, we will see the results of iodine solution and Fahling solution test obtained from the water collected in beakers A and B. At the beginning, in beaker A, uh, iodine test is negative and the same result for uh, beaker B. Fahling test is negative 4A uh, and positive 4B. It means that the uh, permeable bag that contains starch and uh, saliva together uh, is able to change the starch into a Fahling test. So this means that in the presence of saliva, uh, which contains a specific enzyme, the starch was transformed into a reducing sugar. So if we see now the uh, molecular simplification of starch in details, we will start with the molecule of starch or amylose. Any sugar that ends with O's is, uh, is a type of uh, polysaccharides or uh, carbohydrates. So starting with the starch, starting with the starch, we start with the enzyme amylase. Amylase will change the starch into a simpler molecule called maltose, which is a disaccharide. And second, here, under the action of a second enzyme called maltase, this maltose will change into glucose. So I will repeat, starting with uh, starch, it is uh, undergoing a molecular simplification by the enzyme amylase into maltose. Second, under the action of maltase, another enzyme present in the intestinal juices, it will change into a simpler molecule or a monosaccharide called glucose. So recall that a starch or amylose molecules is made up of repeated glucose molecules. 
Digestion of starch, if it is cooked, starts in the mouth under the action of salivary amylase, which is an enzyme found in saliva, and changes it into maltose, which is a disaccharide. In the small intestine, maltose is hydrolyzed or broken down into glucose molecules under the action of intestinal maltase. Glucose, which is now a simple monosaccharide, is able or ready to be absorbed by the bloodstream into the different cells of the body. Sometimes, if the starch is uncooked, digestion will start in the small intestine under the action of another enzyme called pancreatic amylase. In this case, pancreatic amylase will act on starch to change it into maltose, and then we have the intestinal maltase that change maltose into glucose molecules, and finally, it will be absorbed by the bloodstream. At the end of this session, hope you have a great day. Thanks for your attention.